briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1983 case Mueller v. United States, the United States Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit explored whether taxpayers who manage their own investments seeking long-term gain are considered to conduct a trade or business and therefore allowed to claim certain tax deductions. Joseph A. and Dorothy D. Mahler initially deducted expenses for their two home offices on their taxes, but the IRS disallowed the deductions. The claims court initially ruled in favor of the Mahlers, considering their investment activities as a trade or business. The United States government appealed this decision, citing that managing personal investments should not be classified as conducting a trade or business. Since 1965, the Mahlers had been relying on income from investments in several portfolios, the total value of which exceeded $13,500,000. They spent 40, 42 hours a week managing their investments, even though they focused on long-term growth potential and dividend payments rather than speculative activities. The court overturned the claims court's decision, stating that managing personal investments was not classified as conducting a trade or business, making these taxpayers ineligible for home office deductions under Section 280A. Therefore, the Maulers were unable to claim deductions related to their investment activities. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.